Do you want a clear picture of your website's Google search performance? Just connect it to Google Search Console. In this video, we will show you how to connect a WordPress site to Google Search Console. Let's get started. So this is our WordPress website. We will connect Google Search Console to this site. So to do that, we're going to go to Google and we're going to search for Google Search Console. So once you search for Google Search Console, you will see a lot of these links. We're going to click over here. And this is the page that we are going to see. So normally Google will update this page and it might look different in the future, but what you can do is click on the start now or start now button from here, or basically just log in. Okay. So before you proceed, make sure that you're signed into your Google account. And if you're not, no worries. You can click on start now and you will need to log in afterwards. So we're already signed in. We're going to click on start now. Next, you will be asked to select a property type. There are two property types here, domain and URL prefix. So this is the easier one. And here we simply have to paste in our WordPress site address. Let's go back to our WordPress website. Okay, to find our site address, we have to go to settings and click on general. And here you can see this is our site URL. So we're going to copy this. Okay, then go back and now we're going to paste in our address over here. All right, now we're going to click on continue. Now it's checking for verification. Okay, now you have to verify your site's ownership. You can do it with HTML file, HTML tag, Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager and domain name provider. Okay, so we're going to use the HTML tag as this is really easy to do. So we're going to just click on this arrow over here and you can see there's an HTML tag over here. We can see in the instruction it's written, copy the meta tag below and paste it into your site's homepage. It should go into the head section before the first body section. Okay, so we are going to copy this code and go back to our WordPress website. To insert this code into our website's header tag, we are going to use a plugin. Okay, so we're going to hover our mouse over plugins and click on add new. And we are going to use a plugin called WP code. Okay, so this is our plugin. We're going to click on install now. And we're going to click on activate. Okay, so the plugin has been activated and you can see it's over here. To add in our meta tag, we're going to click on this header and footer over here. And over here, we're going to paste in our meta tag. And after that, we're going to click on save changes. So you can see the settings have been saved. So let's go back to our Google search console. And from here, we're going to click on verify. So it's verifying and this might take some time, but after successful verification, you're going to see this message that says ownership verified. Okay, so that's basically it. You have already connected your WordPress site with Google Search Console. You can click on done or you can click on go to property. Here you can see welcome to Search Console, see how you're performing on Google Search, discover and news, learn how to get the most out of Search Console in our getting started guide. Okay, so we're going to click on start and here is our Google Search Console dashboard. Here you can see the name of your domain. You can see the performance overview, the indexing, the experience, enhancement, etc. You are going to see a lot of details over here. Here you can see the message from Google Search Engine and you can also see various other information such as performance, URL inspection and other things. So currently you can see that no data is being shown here. You can see it says processing data. Please check again in a day or so. Okay, so it takes time for Google to retrieve all those data. Okay, so give it time a day or two and then come back here and you're going to see that uh, all the data are being shown here. So the Google Search Console will periodically scan or check for this tag to ensure that you're still the verified owner of this website. If for some reason it cannot scan or access this code, you will be denied access to your Google Search Console. So make sure this tag is always accessible. So from here, we're going to show you how it looks if you have the data. Okay, so when your Google search is connected and when it starts receiving data, you're going to see analytics data such as this one. You can see the performance, the indexing, the experience, 
and other information. You can click on performance and see more information, how many clicks you're getting, how many impressions, etc. All right. So there are various things you can do. You can get the sitemaps, you can look at the pages. Basically, when you get used to it, this will help you understand your SEO of your website and optimize your SEO for more clicks. Okay, so if you want these data to be shown in your WordPress dashboard, what you can do is go to plugins and click on add new and you can search for a plugin called SiteKit by Google. You can see this has over 3 million active installations. You can install this and set it up and your analytics will be shown right in your dashboard. We've posted a video on how to connect your WordPress website with Google Analytics 4. So make sure to check that out where we show you how you can set the site kit up and look at your analytics on your dashboard. Okay, now we are going to learn how to submit your XML sitemap to Google Search Console. So there are a lot of benefits of submitting your XML sitemap to Google. First of all, it improves crawlability and indexation. An XML sitemap helps search engines discover and crawl your website's pages more efficiently. Again, you can provide additional information about your web pages. And adding XML sitemap also makes it easier for search engines to discover new pages. To submit your sitemap to Google Search Console, you need to create a sitemap first. Usually, your SEO plugin will create one for you. We have a dedicated tutorial on this. You can find that in the video description. For this test site, we are using the Yoast SEO plugin. So we have Yoast installed over here. Go to settings from here. And now simply scroll down and go to the API section. And here you can see the XML sitemaps option. From here, click on the view XML sitemap button. Now you can see your XML sitemap. Then what you can do is copy your URL of the XML sitemap. So here is the URL. Just simply click on it, right click and copy. Now go to your Google search console. Once you're here, click on the sitemaps option under indexing. Here you can simply paste in your URL. Once you do that, you can click on the submit button and your XML sitemap will be submitted to Google Search Console. All right, so that does it for this video. We hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.